Hey, this is Francois, and today someone asked me how do I find the system name or the that's what I call, but the name that is behind the column name. So I've been working in SharePoint for years and years. So I, for me, it's kind of natural. There are a few ways to do that. And um, first, I want to explain why do we need this. It's because if you have a a part of your body. And someone is going to call it a Latin name because that's what they know scientifically. Nobody's going to call it like this. We all say elbow, but elbow may not be the real name, right? So it's the same in SharePoint columns. We have names that we use for simplification. But sometimes we need to know what is the real name, like Latin name in a way. Okay, let's have a look at this. So if we open SharePoint, a list da, 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 company stuff first way i would uh, i would do to find out the 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 remember the column name is that you look at the column and you can see that they you can click on it and very quickly you sort it and that's it that's all you need because on the top now look at employee name that's my name employee name but the name of the field it says it at the last it's link title hmm. It could be linked title, it could be title. We're gonna come back to this. Let's take another one. If we have some, maybe, what is this? Date of birth. Date of birth, I'm gonna sort it again. And you can see that the actual date of birth, the long name is called DOB, right? And it will be true to lots of them, maybe family situation. It's very likely that there's a space here. So let's sort it. And you can see that the real name of the field or column, because in SharePoint, column fields the same, is actually family, no space situation. Okay, so that's one thing. So I'm going to make a transition now to show you that it's enough. If you want field by field, column by column, you just find out what is the system name. Other way. The other way is that we're going to go into the list settings. So you always click on the, to the cog on the top. Let's go to list settings. And from here, we can find out a few things. So we're going to go into the list settings. And here you have the list of all your fields, your columns, right? You can see, for instance, date of birth, we, the one you just did, we just did. And almost you move your mouse on it. You can see at the bottom there that there is, I'm going to do it like this, look, date of birth. Just here, I can see in the URL when I move my mouse that the real name of the field is shorter. So date was hired is actually the, the column name is hiring. Third one, I click on the property of the column and I can see the full detail. Again, I go to the URL and I can see field equal. So then it tells me exactly what the field is equal to. Okay, let's go back to another one. If we have maybe highest degree, again, you click on the column top URL and you can see that the field is actually called degree. Okay, so that's all good. But look at this, we have lots of uh, column, right? And sometimes, especially if you're on other system like project web access and things like this, you have a lot of fields, a lot of columns. So what I would like is to have a full list where you tell me, what is the display name? Display name is what the user can see. And what is the system name, right? So the, the system, the, the first time you create a column, what is the actual name that is being saved in SharePoint? So to do that, we're going to just use a little bit of a, of a script and, um, and yeah, we should just find it because we are going to invoke a, um, all data which is open data feed and then display it in Excel. Okay, so for that, I'm going to ask some help and I'm gonna ask help from ChatGPT. Why? Because I can use the search, I can use the search on a Google or Bing, but uh, ChatGPT is here. So what I'll do is that I'm gonna ask exactly. In SharePoint, I want to open a no data because I know that all data can do it, but it's all complex, right? The, the language they use and all. So I want to say, uh, I want to use all data feed and I want to retrieve in Excel, the system name. 
and also the display name of all my uh, list columns. Let's see what ChatGPT is going to come with. Let's move this around. Okay, so lots of explanation, all that great. So it's telling me like, yeah, sure, open um, your SharePoint site, go to setting, copy the URL, etc. Then it's telling me open the um, Excel. Okay, so let's just start with this. So I'm going to use all this, right? What you can see is that my list name is this list name. So you could even ask ChatGPT and say, this is my list name. Can you just replace it for me? But we're not that lazy, right? Are we? Are we? Hmm. So we're going to type it. So I'm going to copy this code. And then let's go into Excel. Let's uh, do the get data. We're going to do from other or data. And then you just paste, basically, the auditor URL. And then we'll see what happened. Okay. Stay with me here. Okay, so let's uh, go to Excel and uh, I'm going to need two things. So I need my site name. Let's just put it in Excel like this so it's visible. That's actually not even the site name, it's site and list, as you can see, because here I have my list as well that is being uh, given here, right? But we may need the display name. We'll see. We'll see how it comes. So site name. And then what else do we need? Oh, we need the other one, which was just uh, my here, my uh, all data, right? So now let's start replacing things. So in the all data, all we need is the API, and then we will have to add the rest. So at the end of this uh, site, let's just put it like this, site here. I want the site name. My site name is just called dev, so super simple for me. I'm just going to paste, uh, great, not paste. Paste the second one, so it's the one with API. Always make sure that you don't have double slash because it wouldn't work, right, obvious. We know that we want to get filled, so I will leave this. But what I, what I need is the list name. So list name, it could be company, person 20, stuff. But if you look here, it says get by title. It doesn't tell me get by URL, which would be the one with person 20. So actually let's put the actual title, which is company space stuff. Okay, so that's it. That's what I will need, I'm guessing. So this is the all data that I need. So let's just um, copy this value, right? And now we are going to Add it to do get data. We have from other. Remember, remember, all data is under the other. It's not from the web, it's other. So, other. Then we have all data feed, dialog box. From here, we need to just paste the address, company staff. We just check all this. Oh, look at this company staff has a typo. And then we click on OK and we see if there is authentication. If you're authenticated, brilliant. Otherwise, you may have to enter your authentication uh, credential, etc. Okay, so we have all our fields or object. Let's call it objects. In preview here, we can see what it's coming up with. But what I may be interested is, uh, I just want to find out the name, right? Oh, look at that. Static name, title. So, for instance, we're looking at date of birth earlier. Oh, I would have to scroll down and I can't do it on the preview. So let's click on transform and see if we get the full view here. Okay, so what I like to do is that we have lots, by the way, there's 42 columns. If you click on view, you can go directly to a column. So what we wanted is maybe name. So we have internal name, yeah. Internal name, static name, display name, brilliant. That's what we want. So then we jump straight to the column that we need. And I was explaining, I was trying to say, well, what would be cool is to have our, this is not, by the way, it's just a type of uh, data. So it's not what we want. What we want is the list of all our, here we go, this one, title and static name, all our fields or column in the, in the SharePoint list. So let's find the date of birth. And uh, what we could do is uh, sort it, right? Let's sort it alphabetically. Static name. We know that date of birth was DOB. Here we go. DOB, date of birth. Okay, so we have the information we want. 
So all I care is this and this, right? So I will select it, right click, and then I just want to get rid of the other column. Let's go back to Excel, close and load. And from here, you can see that my query is loading and that's it. All right, so you have the full list now. You know that when the system name is this, the actual display name is that, etc. And that's super useful because a lot of lists have been modified over time, over years sometimes. And you need to go back to the first, to the previous maybe uh, system name. So that's a really good way of finding out what is the system name. I hope it was useful. As always, send me some comments, send me some direct messages, and I'll try to improve all this in the future. Or just answer your question because there's quite a lot on uh, of things to do, to know in Microsoft 365. All right, speak to you soon. Thank you.